Good morning. God bless you. This is the day that the Lord has made that we will rejoice and be glad in it. I'm thankful for you and I thank God uh, for this season, season of fasting, season of self-examination, uh, season of checking yourself <laughs> and maybe really getting on you, you know, uh, um, pushing yourself and motivating yourself is the ultimate key to us growing and us finding our desired call to God. There's a desired call to God. And when you can break through fear and when you can break through the, 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 the obstacles, let's call them obstacles, the obstacles that, that hinder us, the obstacles that make us want to veer away from the challenges of life. Uh, there, you know, there are some people that was to sit here and, and profess and tell you that everything is going to be just fine and, and uh, don't worry about it, you know, that, that it's going to pass and, and, uh, and you won't go through. The, well, let me tell you something that I've learned right now. We all have struggles that we're dealing with constantly. It doesn't go away. It doesn't just d disappear. I'm a Christian now. Uh, and, uh, uh, and, and not all the races it, it doesn't we, we, we have to realize first of all there is a gift but then for every gift there's a struggle and if we if we're not acknowledging that remember I asked you guys did, did you did you get did you did you write down your did you do your inventory did you do your self inventory we said that on Wednesday to get a Get your, your, your notepad. We said for this month of, ex, of self-examination, get a new notepad, a new 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 notes. Not just the same notepad you've been using. Get a new special notepad because we've been giving away some very, very, very vital information to help each and every one of us grow in our in a life of fasting. Um, we always have to wean ourselves off of certain things. For us to stay conscious, to, for us to stay effective in God. There are things you have to wean yourself off of. You know that that will not work as a believer. You know that does not work as you being a new a new creation. You know that doesn't work as you being converted as a child. You know certain things about you that you should have put on the top of the list of stuff that you have not finished. Yeah. Each and every one of us have, have that. On my list, I look at it and I said, yeah, I did pretty good. But there were still some things I committed to that I had to fix now. Being a better person, being being more more loving, being more respectful, uh, uh, being, being more caring. Those are on my list. And, and I looked at it and I said, well, you accomplished some of it, but you're still lacking in some areas. I had to get it. I had to hawk. Uh, you know, hanker down on that and really work on being a better person. Now, the, the best thing to, to do when you're trying to correct something is look at who the who's in the closest vicinity of you. Who do you spend most of your time with? Who who do you who do you fellowship with more? And who can you 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 know show your growth? And how can you you know? How can you uh, uh, exemplify that it's working in your life? That those are the things that we have to constantly do, especially when we are desiring God's direction. See, when you're, you know, when you choose God's guidance, when I choose God's guidance, I'm, I'm now taking the next step forward with God. When I, when I say God lead me, I'm moving with God. When, when you say, God, use me, you're not being independent anymore. You're moving with God. You see, God really manifests because now you're with God. See, fasting is a, is, is, is a sincere way of expressing to God that you're teachable and you're willing to be faithful to him and his leading. See, you have to be faithful to, to say, God, lead me. You have to be faithful to say, God, use me. 
You have to, you have to, you, it's your faithfulness that has to come forward in your desire to follow God. Now, each and every one of us know in Luke uh, uh, chapter 9, it says, if anyone desires to come after me, but well, we have to first have a desire to go after God, to be, thank you, uh, uh, prophetess, to be set aside for God, to, to be willing to, to be teachable, to be uh, 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 obedient to, to, to God's values and God's leading. See, fasting uh, 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 is lining us up with God's wisdom and God's timing. Write that down. Fasting lines us up with God's wisdom and God's timing. When now, that said, we are now consecrated. Remember we said a, a personal, private, a, a, a disciplined, intimate arena with God that we can spend quality time with him. I, I'm going to put my hand up first because I know when I say this, everybody else's hand. But have you, are you really seeing the effects of this fast? Thank you. Your hand went up too. Run. Somebody run. See, because now I'm, I'm seeing that, oh my God, I'm, this is this is normally when I'm like, you know, going through the, the body rejections, the, the, the headaches. The, no, you have to pray those things out of you. Remember we said to be prepared, to, to enter in with God, to be holy and acceptable. Fasting, it prepares us for God's timing, and God's wisdom. And when you get, oh my God, when you get connected with God's timing and God's wisdom, you can realize what gift you have in God. Yes, Minister Terry, I will I'll go there. Luke 9, Luke 9, Luke 9. It's a cost to become a disciple. We think it's just an easy thing. It's just, it's, it's flamboyant. It's, 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 no, 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 no. Discipleship is always a cost for you and for I. Oh, I know, I know. See, that's something else you got to write on your list. Oh, we're praying over these sinuses this morning. My God. But guess what? That can't stop me because my sinuses are a little bit on the left or right. <laughs> that can't make, quit, make me quit. And don't, don't, don't think that the body didn't say, oh, don't go on today. Uh, 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 you, you know, uh, 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 you, 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 you can hardly breathe. Take a break. Well, this is what I did. <laughs> watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. This is what I did. <laughs> Oh, in the name of Jesus, I lay hands over myself. I heal the sickness of, 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 uh, of congestion, of sinus problems in the name of Jesus. Oh, anoint my head with oil. Ooh. Baby, I think that's the problem. Normally, I've been anointing myself in the ears and uh, uh, just look. When you realize your gift, you know it's to become a hard worker. Well, when I realized my gift, I realized that I am a hard worker for God. Yes, that is my gift. I know I'm too much. That is my gift to go hard for Jesus. That's my gift. Yes, it is. And yes, I'm too much, but guess what? I can feel it lifting right now. I can feel the sinuses lifting right now. Oh, thank you, Jesus. And even if they don't, I won't quit because I'm built for this that no matter what the physical does, my gift is to go hard for God and to profess his word that it will not return void, but it will accomplish everything that it was set out to do. His word says that by his stripes I am healed. I'm healed. The word says that, that, that I am set free. 
who the son sets free is free indeed. I'm free. I know my positioning with God because of his wisdom and his timing for me. His wisdom and his timing for you. Stop beating yourself up. Stop, getting, stop being hard on yourself. You went through that so somebody else can see how not to go, that, that it's possible to, to, to win. If you see anything about me, I say it all the time. If you see anything about me that's positive, you, then take it. If you see anything about me that says, man, I, that's, I, got, I, get, I get excited and, and motivated by that young man or, or that older man or whoever I am to you, then, then take it here, take it, run with it. That you can become the motivator. That you can become the encourager. Thank you, Lord. That you can become holy and acceptable to God. See, personal sacrifice, family, is just part of this Christian walk. To be a believer, sacrifice is, 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 for, is in the forefront. If you are a believer in Jesus Christ, sacrifice is a personal Yes, I will, Paulette. Sacrifice is personal. A personal gift of your Christian walk, your Christian faith, your Christian belief. Sacrifice. You just got to put it up there and say, yes, I will always have to give up some things. And what's the first thing you give up? Who has the magic answer to that? What's the first thing you give up? Yourself. I had to give up me. I could not allow me to be in control any longer because I was blowing it. Because I was ruining it. Because I was destroying it. I'm my biggest problem. I'm the first thing that needs to get in control. I'm the first thing that needs to go under my foot. I'm the first thing that I'm the biggest problem that I or you will ever have yourself. Luke chapter nine, he says, verse 23, he says, then he said to them all, stop. The one thing that we have to be very, very careful about is we always try to say this is just for us. I wasn't there, but I believe every time Jesus spoke, he spoke to everybody under the sound of his voice. And he spoke to the ones that were that were farthest away from him, the ones that didn't spend a lot of time with him, the ones that weren't believing and trusting in him. He spoke to them more. I truly believe it. I believe his, his voice just hearkened to those that were in need, that were in doubt, that were in, in themselves. That they had to learn that they must die. John tells us, you must increase, but I must decrease. That means I must die. That's a sacrifice. That is a great sacrifice for you and I to say daily, I die to myself. I take up my cross now and I follow. Then he said to them all, not one, not two. He said to them all, look at the word of God and trust it. He said to them all. See, there's a special place. <laughs> there is a special place for the all. That means no one is written off. No one is thrown away. No one is discarded. Come on now. Come on. You got to get this with me this morning. It's, I know, I know they did you wrong. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know they did you bad. I know, I know they're still talking about you. He still is the saving God. And when we die to ourselves, we can see life in others. Woo! When we die to ourselves, we can see life in others, even though they're dead, even though they're walking around as zombies. I'm in the streets. I'm, I deal with the people that, that look like I used to look, that do like I used to do. But if I'm, if I'm all on me, 
my God. I can't see life in you. <laughs> if I'm all about me, I can't see life in them. If I'm all about me, I can't see life in nothing. That's why the biggest sacrifice, whoo, Jesus, you got to know God's gift in you. God's gift in you is that you have the ability to die to self. But stop writing people off. Stop saying it's only for this crew. It's only for that church. It's only for that. No, 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 no. He said to them all. I'll stick on that all day. If we don't understand that part, you need to get that right. It's important that we understand. It's for all. Then he said to them all, if anyone stop right there, just to just to, to, to really, to really, really, really push it. The writer said, then he said to them all. Then he said, if anyone, that means you, that means me, that means her, that means them, that means anybody. If anyone Desires to come after me. Sacrifice. Remember? Remember? The Spirit will lead you into a place of wilderness. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. And in that place of wilderness, you will be led to fast. And yes, you will be hungry. But when you get hungry and you pay more attention to the hunger, then you do what's to come, you will be overtaken. Yep, yep. Whatever you whatever you decided to give up is gonna come back on you 50 times worse. Because you focus on the thing and not the purpose and the gift that God has given you. Now remember, that gift comes through wisdom and timing. When? Now. That I'm ready now to experience Jesus. Can we just take an experience more break? <laughs> can we just take, come on, can we just take a, 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 a Jesus break? Just, just, just put your hand in the air and say, Lord, use me as I connect with you, as I commit to you, as I desire you. You know that song? I give myself away so you can use me. When? Now. Use me now. That's wisdom. And that's God's timing. That each and every one of us are ready. When? On your mark. Get set. Go. <laughs> and you just stay in that go position. And yes, say yes to his will, yes to his way, and yes to his word. Watch this. Good morning, uh, Minister Mustafa. How are you, man of God? Watch this. Then he said to them all, if anyone desires to come after me, now stop again. <laughs> no, not after Bishop so, so, and so. Not after Pastor E. Not after Evangelist so, and so. Not after this, not after that. No, he says, if anyone desires to come after me, here are the rules. I told you it's going to cost you something. This is, this walk is a sacrifice, but it shouldn't be a sacrifice as we learned on Wednesday that should, that should, that should, that should uh, uh, burden us down. It should be a sacrifice that we stand tall for. That nobody knows you're sacrificing. <laughs> look at me right now. It just, do, do I look like I'm, I'm, in, I'm in fasting and I'm, and I'm in sacrifice? No. And you never will be able, will be able to tell. No. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. No. You have to keep your demeanor with the glory of God on you that you look like you are the most richest, the most wealthiest, the most healthiest, individual there is on this planet 
And no, there's nothing to show for it in the physical, but we're not talking about physical. We're talking about spiritual. Yes. You knew I was going to come back to that. <laughs> you knew I was going to come back to that. See, see, see. We will always take shortcuts. Instead of being willing to accept the fact that this sacrifice is not easy, but it also should remind, or remind me of what's really important. <laughs> you are really important. See, we look at this and we really get to the point where understanding that, that, that to be a part of the anyone crowd, you guys know I love that. Me learning the, the anyone crowd mentality helps you to learn the 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 anyone mentality it opens up the door to say if god is not slack i'm not slack and i know we can always be just be judgmental but remember what how you judge in the judgment and the measure you use of that judgment that judgment will come back on you the seeds you sow, whether good or bad, that harvest is going to come back on you. And it's going to overwhelm you. But you, you and I, we're learning to sacrifice and to give freely and to want to see someone else smile. I'll tell you a story yesterday. You know, tomorrow is our fourth annual School supply. We're not doing backpacks. We have a couple left over from last year. But we're not doing it. We're going to do school supplies because most, most of the people are in home school. We're believing that next year we'll, we'll have 100 tablets to give away to, to, to kids for home school. But this year we're going to do it what we have. We got books. We, we, got, we, got, we got three ring notebooks. We got pencils, papers. You can still donate. You can still give to this. It's tomorrow, 12 to 3, right here at the Now Church California. But you know, it, it takes a sacrifice to do stuff like this. There's, there's something that you have to give up for, for stuff like this. You have to know there's people out there that would love to sow and bless the children and see somebody else smile. So it's not about us. It's what? About somebody else. That's what this ministry is really built around is you and other people. And seeing them smile. Seeing their kids come up here and, and know that, 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 that there is something here for them. So yesterday I'm sitting here. And, uh, you, you know, we had got we got some snacks and uh, uh, some some uh, 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 some power aid juices and everything. Well, people know normally when I have stuff around here that I just give it away. Well, yesterday I heard somebody go in the gate. I go outside and the people go looking at the box and stuff. I said, oh, that stuff is for Saturday. We're doing a uh, we're doing a school supply giveaway. And, and that's for Saturday. And they looked and they like, oh, we can't have any. Guess what I did? Gave it to them. <laughs> and they told somebody else and told somebody else and told somebody else. Well, guess what? Yes, yes, yes. They they left here with the Powerade and a bunch of boxes of the snacks. Guess what? God will provide some more today. But we have to understand that even when we make plans with stuff, it's still for the people that need it now. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you need it. Ooh, we almost made a mess there. Oh, get here. There you go. Fall out. Go ahead. Take them off. Fall out. <laughs> Woo, thank you. And then they came back and they were so gracious because the little boxes have plastic on them. You can't see what's in them. And they came back. And they said, oh, no, because I let them use the dolly. I said, bring my dolly back. And they brought the dolly back, and they came to the front door. They said, come here. I said, come on in. They came in. They said, that really, we really needed that. 
And we know we, we knew you, you said that was for something else, but we really appreciate you thinking, you know what? We should always think about the next person first. Even though you planned that for something, even though that was made for something, no. There are people in need now that can't wait till Saturday. See the sacrifice? It, it, there, it, in this following, in this anyone crowd, in this anyone environment, the sacrifice is that others can receive a big piece of God. And yes, he'll provide. We still need waters. We still need more paper. We still need more supplies. We still need something to feed them with. And God will provide. I'm talking to you out there. If you're a provider, go ahead. Give. So, go to Cash App. Dollar sign. PSTR 2K1. So something. If everybody that knows me on Facebook, I got 5,000 friends. If they gave $1, we'd have $5,000 today to do. Oh, we would, woo, we would be off the chain tomorrow. <laughs> but do what you can. Give. You be, watch this. If God will supply, you be the supplier. <laughs> yes. Yes. That's how God works through us. When we think about others first. And we could go through this all day long scripturally. And, 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 but if we don't bring in life situations. That makes us really see the work of God moving. Now, did I take selfies with the people? Ooh, no. Did I go live on Facebook? No. No. They'll be back Saturday. They want their picture taken? We'll take it. But doing, doing right for people and getting them to smile doesn't mean everybody has to see it. That's a sacrifice. Sacrifice It's not easy. And remember I said it, but it, it will remind us of what, what's important. See, heaven is our true home. That's where each and every one of us are attempting to prepare ourselves for. To be with our Father, with our with our Lord, and with our God. But let me say this. The sacrifices of this world have nothing to do with the benefits of the eternity and the heavenlies to what God has for, for you and I. When we fast, we choose to offer up our bodies as a living sacrifice to God. Remember, holy and acceptable to God. The Lord does not enforce you, force me, force us to do the right thing. He doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't. Make us go down this, this aisle or that aisle. No, he gives us the ability that for us to choose his ways over our own desires. Yes, it has not gotten easy to be without me. It has not. It has not been easy taking two hours early and two hours later. Whether what time I get up or not, I still have to take that time. It has not been easy. But it has been beneficial that I choose his ways over my own desires. No matter what you what no matter what you fast from, it moves us into a deeper, deeper relationship with Jesus. It takes us into the arena of praise. The arena of worship and the arena of connection. See, I told you. See, I told you. It's clearing up. And you see, I've done nothing but pray, believe it, and now I'm receiving it. Because if it didn't happen right away, most people quit. No, you have to know faith works. You have to know prayer works. You have to know healing works. But are you, watch this, have you sacrificed enough to show God whether it comes or whether it doesn't, you will do what he told you to do. Remember, personal, private, disciplined, and intimate. 
Walk with God. That's why we are on this fast. No, no. Hold up. I apologize. That's why I'm on this fast. I'm on this fast for a personal, private, disciplined, intimate relationship with God that entangles me with him. I don't want to go without God. I don't want to. I don't want to have a, a life that separates me from God when I only and I only come to him when I need him. No, I want an all day, all night, constant relationship with God. What is personal, private, into I mean private, discipline, and intimate. See, see, see. Jesus will show you opportunities. For you and I to further the kingdom of heaven on earth now. You say, well, why, why, why would you want to further the kingdom of heaven on earth now? Because we, everybody should get it. Anyone. We're talking about the anyone crowd. You're welcome. Come on in. I know some other preacher told you you was no good. That you was this, you was that. No. Come on in. Come on in. Uh-uh. No, no, no. You're welcome. No, I know some other person uh, beat you down. Every time you see them, they tell you how no good you are. They tell you that this. No, no. I'm telling you to come on in. Come on in. Thank you, uh, uh, Evangel Virginia. And not a dead sacrifice. A living sacrifice. Holy and acceptable unto who? God. Come on, anyone. Come on. Come on in. That's how we're going to close today. Telling anyone to come in. He, yes, no, he didn't give up on you. Uh-uh, no, he didn't throw you away. You've been doing that to yourself. Now you say, well, how can you say that, Pastor? Because I did it. I was killing myself. I was throwing myself away. I was destroying myself. But God gave me the opportunity to save myself. You'll get that. You'll get that. You'll get that. You'll get that. See, what God has done has already been done. We say that all the time, but do we really believe it? Can we go always want to redo something or, or get God to redo something? No, I have to redo something. I have to get some stuff together. I have to shift some stuff. And so do you. You can fix you. And you need to fix you <laughs> before you try to fix others. And then you'll learn, like me, that you'll never have time to fix others because you got a lot to do with yourself daily. All day. I'm a, I'm a work in progress all day. But I won't give up on you. And I pray you won't give up on me. Because we know our purpose. We know... We know, watch this, because it's no longer our purpose, it's his. We know our desire, because it's no longer our desire, it's his. We know our, we know our gift, because the gift is no longer ours, it's his. Come on, we need to all follow Minister Terry right now. That says, fix me now, Lord. And guess what? That, and that he, it's a constant thing. Look, Lord, fix me, 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 fix me now. <laughs> and see, and then you learn. See, then you learn. It's about fixing you. Then you learn. Don't worry about the spot or the wrinkle in somebody else's eye. Uh-uh. No, worry about the, the plank in yours. Don't judge unless you want to be judged. Don't talk unless you want to be talked about. Don't, don't abuse unless you want to be abused. Uh-uh. No, no, no. And even if somebody else is still in their, in their own, you don't have to go there. You should not go there. If you're trying to be a better person, don't let somebody else keep pulling you down and say, well, because you ain't got your life together, I ain't got to get my life together. That is a lie from the pits of hell. Get you together. I get me together. Then we all can get together. Wake up in your mind. Get up in your thinking and move in your purpose. We're gonna we're gonna come back here on Monday. But watch this. Then he said to them all, 
if anyone desires to come after me, let him. See, God's message is just for you. You must make this personal, private, disciplined, and intimate. You must. If anyone desires to come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. Do you see how the work is all on you now? Don't blame me. Don't blame them. Uh-uh. No, take all take full responsibility of yourself. And in taking responsibility, all you have to do is say, you know what? I can do it. I can do it. Come on, just put, come on, say it. I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. You can do what? Get yourself together. It's not worried about somebody else. See, a part of my gift is to see greater things in you, which should be your part of your gift too, to see greater things in me. So here's the application for this weekend. I want to challenge you with a couple of things. But would you consider giving up two things? <laughs> I know we already got you on one. <laughs> but would you consider, I said consider, I didn't say do it. I said, but would you consider giving up two things to draw deeper and closer with God? Would you, would you consider it? Are you willing, watch this. Number two, if you can give up two things, are you willing to act on what God shows you? Oh, see, God showed you to sow into this ministry today. And you still haven't done it. You need to do what God says. See, when God shows you something, are you willing to act? Now, I just use that because this is a part of this broadcast is the giving hour. Where you can sow your free will offering, your tithes, your gift, your seed. You want to bless the man of God, you can sow it now. But you got to sow it like you want to. If, if I said that to you and it reminded you that God said so, but you still like that, don't do it. Uh-uh. If you still like, I needed that for me. I was going to buy me some shoes today. I was going to do, I was going to buy me a hat today. Don't do it. Keep it. Keep it. Don't sow it. And I, I, I'm just using me as an example. But if it was somebody else and you'd be like, oh, it ties it off for it again. Don't, don't sow it. Stop. You'd be like, Pastor D, they, that's going to stop you. You can't be God's giving. If you stop sowing here, God just going to provide another way. You are not, let me just say this out loud. You are not the, goal, the, key, the key to this ministry. Your offering, your free will, your giving does not make or break this ministry. And if you think that you stop giving that you're going to kill this ministry, uh, all you're going to do is kill yourself. God will provide. But as I said earlier, are you a provider? Then step up now and provide. We need pencils. We need paper. We need school supplies. We need, we need food. We need give. You become the provider. Because he lives in you. If he's the provider, then you're the provider. <laughs> God will provide. He will provide through you. But are you willing to consider giving up not one, but two things for the rest of this fast? And are you willing to act on what God shows you? Two questions I had to ask you today. You must be willing to act. And you must be willing to act now. Wake up in your mind. Get up in your thinking. And move in your purpose. And yes, Minister Terry, the key word is free will giving. If you're hindered in sowing, giving, stop. And work on getting that right. You, that, you, you, I'm telling you, that's why you're not getting nothing back. 
Because as you sow, so shall you reap. It's important. It's important. Wake up in your mind. Get up in your thinking and move in your purpose. We're going to come back to Luke 9 on, uh, on Monday. Uh, yes, this is self-examination month. Now, you wrote the list. Uh, and after you wrote your list, this is, this is what I did. I prayed. And I said, Lord, forgive me. Because I missed the mark here a couple of times. And, and, and there was still a spirit saying, but you still did good enough. You, no, 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 no. I had to I had to confess. Oh, yeah. And on the flyer, there's an extra zero down there. You got to know where Long Beach is. It's 90805. My bad. <laughs> and I had to say, Lord, forgive me. But I'm going to finish stronger than I started. And I could have said, Lord, take this away. Forgive me for this. And no, 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 no. I looked at that list and I said, no, I can do that now. I, I, I knocked out five in less than less than a day. But that list helped me notice that I was not all that I thought I was. And I didn't beat myself up about it. No, I beat myself up about it. To say, yeah, you, you're human. But you can still get it right. So I'm working in this season of September. Self-examination is to finish strong. Now remember, we never make plans for our final quarter. Because we are in prep vessel mode. We are getting it together. And we take this time of September to fix everything that we didn't finish right. This is your season to get it right. And to get it right with God. And asking God to forgive you does not wash it away. It means you must still finish it. And I'm, and I'm here to encourage you today that you can don't just say I wrote the list. All right, thank you, Lord. Let no, I'm, I'm I gotta get it. I gotta get us. I gotta go to work. I got. I need. I need. I gotta shift my schedule around. I gotta make up some time. And right now we got a lot of time because we're still in the COVID situation. We don't have the freedoms and the luxuries that we do. We're at home a lot more, and there's a lot more free time. Turn the TV off and finish those things on that list. Get off the phone. Turn off the internet. And do those things on the list. Unless you need the internet to do those things. Wake up, get up, and move in your purpose and finish strong. Are you willing to act on what God has showed you? Are you willing is my question today. Family, I love you guys. God bless you. Uh, join us tonight. Uh, Prophetess Laurie at 5 p.m., 6 p.m., 7 p.m., and 9 p.m. I mean at 8 p.m., for will you be made whole with Prophetess Lori. Awesome, awesome woman of God. Awesome word. She's been on fire. She preaching everywhere. I see it. She got flowers everywhere. She preaching all over the place. And in Connecticut, in her home state. She's doing great works there. You guys, keep her lifted up. But join us tonight for that broadcast. And this Sunday morning, the Now Church, California. Then tomorrow. Oh, yeah, tomorrow. We will be live tomorrow. We got Rare Breed coming out. We have uh, uh, Minister Terry coming out. We have uh, UConn coming out. Uh, if you want to stop by, and we've we've made uh, some we we've, we've made some invitations to people out there, and if they want to come on, they can. Um, and uh, it, it's it's free will and it's free offering to each and every one of you. And if if I invited you and you for some reason and somebody else said something and you said, well, I'm not gonna go, you can still come. The doors are open. Amen, 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 amen. So join us tomorrow. It's still not too late for you to give. You can sow at our cash app, dollar sign PSTR 2K1. You go to our VMO account, Pastor E2000, or you go to our website, Provoked, <coughs> excuse me, Provoked2000now.com. Provoked2000now.com. Amen. Amen. Come on out and bless us. Bring, uh, donate, do whatever you got to do to help us make the kids smile tomorrow. And we're going to stand out there until we give it all away. Amen. And believe me, they coming. <laughs> Wake up, get up, move in your purpose, and we'll talk to you then. God bless you. 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 Thank you, Minister Mustafa, for the acknowledgement. And yes, the now word is ready to go forth. We love you guys. <coughs> Minister Terry, good morning. 
Minister Mustafa, good morning. Minister Shannon, good morning. Minister Brian Washington, good morning. Evangelist Virginia Valentine, good morning. Minister Cynthia Bell, good morning. Minister Jamel Harris, good morning. Prophetess Lori, good morning. Minister Brian Davis, good morning. Minister Barry Scott, good morning. Minister Polo Henry, good morning. What's up? Minister Paulette McCoy, good morning. Good, good morning, Minister Alexis Burns, good morning. How are you? Mr. Torin Ganther, good morning. My little sister, Bridget Wilson, good morning. And to all that will come later uh, on the replays, on the watch parties, on the YouTube station. God bless you guys. We love you. We thank God for you. And uh, we know it's working. Amen. Amen. Remember, you want to give up two things now. And are you willing to act on what God tells you to do? Move now. Do it. In Jesus' name. We love you guys.